everyone, it's Daniel McCabe here again at GI Energy. I'm just standing here in my own office, uh, in here in our head office, with the brand new Hyundai 350 watt shingled panel. And I have to say I'm genuinely quite excited about this product. There's a lot of quite unique features there that I'm quite keen to talk you through. And then obviously there's a more detailed review just beneath this video if you'd like to read up a little bit more about it. So, you can see it doesn't look like a traditional solar panel. It actually looks pretty damn cool, I think. Um, and it doesn't just look cool either. The reason it looks that way and you can't see the traditional lines that you can down uh, a normal, uh, what we would say a normal traditional solar panel looks like, is because it's a shingled solar panel. So what does a shingled solar panel actually mean? So a shingled solar panel basically means that Hyundai are starting with a normal mono perk cell. They're cutting that cell down into five different sections. Hyundai then apply an ECA, which is an electrically conductive adhesive to each of those strips and they overlap them like you would imagine a shingled roof would be. So the cells are actually overlapped. What does that mean in terms of the efficiency? Well, if you imagine a split cell solar panel, the reason they split those cells is basically to reduce the current. So a Hyundai shingle cell will carry just one fifth of the electrical current of the original full cell, meaning that every circuit operates at a lower current and hence then a lower temperature. So what that means is that when it's operating at a lower temperature due to the lower current, it's going to be more efficient. That's basically how the shingled cell arrangement works. So a split cell is cut into two, these are cut into five. Secondly, the Hyundai have also, as I said, with the shingled overlapped cells, they're not using the traditional solder that a solar panel that you can see running down, which carries the current through the panel. They're actually using an adhesive. So what that means, it's an ECA, which just stands for electronically, uh, Electrically Conductive Adhesive. And it essentially means that it can potentially be a more reliable panel. So how that works is, if you imagine uh, solder joints all the way down a solar panel, that's basically a metal strip. Metal in the heat will expand and then contract which essentially causes a little bit of stress potentially in the solar panel. So the adhesive won't do that. Next, um, the next big selling point with these panels is the temperature coefficient rating, which is only 0.34%. So what does that mean? Well, a temperature coefficient rating means basically a solar panel is tested at 25 degrees Celsius. For every one degree over 25 degrees, it means that this panel will degrade by 0.34%. Traditionally, a solar panel would be around a 0.5% coefficient rating. Now, with some other modern solar panels, um, some of the leading brands like LG, for example, their rating is fairly similar. I think it's um, 0.39, but Hyundai here is 0.34. So that might not sound like a huge difference, but if you start adding that up over a 25 year lifespan of a solar panel uh, in a climate where we're consistently getting temperatures that are somewhere up to 40 degrees, if you imagine that temperature on the roof, and then you imagine that degrading rating over a period of 25 years, it actually adds up to quite a lot of lost production. So for a panel like Hyundai, who are priced well beneath an LG solar panel, for them to have achieved that rating is really, really impressive. Next is the efficiency of the panel. You can see that they're still a relatively small panel. The dimensions are actually quite unique, but the footprint is not huge, they're not anywhere near a, a typical 72 cell panel and they're still producing 350 watts. So that means that the overall efficiency rating of this panel is 20.2%. Now the highest rated panel in the world at the moment is a SunPower Maxion 3 and their efficiency rating is 22%. Once again, SunPower price point is much, much higher, certainly for the Maxion panel when compared to Hyundai. And Hyundai aren't that far away from that efficiency rating now with this panel, which again, for, for the price point, 
is extremely, extremely impressive. Another great point here, and Hyundai do this with other modules as well, but certainly is carried through to this one, is the 25 year product warranty. So there's two warranties with every solar panel, performance and product. Everyone gives you a 25 year performance warranty. Hyundai also give you a 25 year product guarantee. So what that means is that again, they're competing with panels like LG with that warranty. And the price point is much lower than LG. Hyundai as a brand are obviously very, very credible as well. So I think it's a warranty that they're going to stand by. Um, you know, there's a lot of, well, in Australia, there were a lot of very, very cheap solar panels offering 25 year warranties from companies that had only been trading for three, four, five or six years. And it's hard to really justify that type of warranty. With Hyundai, with a really strong brand, when they're writing 25 year warranties, they're obviously taking the care to make sure that they're going to be able to stand by those warranties and they've obviously got a lot of confidence in this product that it is going to last 25 years. So they've backed it with a really, really credible, really good warranty. Now we like Hyundai solar panels here. We've installed quite a few of the older modules, lots of residential systems and some smaller commercial systems and they have always performed really, really well. Once again, taking into consideration the price point that they're being offered at. This new panel, I think, could be a game changer for them in Australia. I think we're going to see a lot more people requesting information on this panel, a lot more people installing this panel, and I think we're going to get really, really good results from it. When you take everything into consideration, who the manufacturer is and how credible they are, what the price point of the panel is, and how it's going to perform, they are a very impressive panel. They are brand new. and. Um, we think they're going to fly off the shelves. We're more than happy to give you more information about them. Certainly not your only choice. There's obviously a lot of different solar brands out there to choose from, but this new panel has got us quite excited and um, hopefully we can share some more information with you. Thanks.